Good morning toy fans, welcome back to another Super 7 video. Um, I've been taking a look at Super 7, the toy company, uh, ever since I had my eye on the Masters of the Universe muscle figures. Uh, this was quite fun to uh, to review, look at, and whatnot. And so I thought I'd uh, take a look at what else they'd, uh, they'd make as of late. Uh, but before I get into all that, uh, just a quick little introduction. Super 7 was uh, founded in 2001 by Brian Flynn, a name straight out of a Tron movie, I swear. Uh, but basically it's a toy designer studio with limited toys based on retro brands, sort of like uh, Star Wars, Masters of the, of the Universe, the original Alien, uh, and Planet, Planet of the Apes. Uh, there's quite a few other little brands I'm missing. Uh, the Toxic Avenger is another fun one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, another one of those uh, uh, appropriate trash can uh, grab bags like uh, the Match of the Universe over here. Uh, but they, uh, they do a lot of fun things, a lot of uh, little figures uh, and whatnot, and kind of like the retro uh, sort of styling. Uh, oh, this is a continuity error. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, they've also gotten into their own kind of uh, own brand of... Uh, well, I wouldn't call them good guys. I wouldn't call them bad guys. They're just the worst, really. Uh, basically, what I mean is that they went into making their own muscle-type figures uh, that are in the uh, Keshi Surprise brand. Uh, these guys, basically, they're uh, they're kind of like these uh, weird superhero villain characters. Just basically, they uh, I, I imagine they all meet up and uh, and. Uh, declare world dominance at, at one point but uh you know you can make it up uh, however you want uh but yeah i, I really like these things uh, they're uh, quite kooky in their designs and whatnot um and just the fact that they cover all kinds of different i don't know 50s b movie monster videos and things uh, you know straight to vhs stuff you know I'd imagine any a movie featuring any of these guys is one meaning. So basically, there's Captain Dead Star, Franken Ghost, Red Tiger, uh, the Cortex Commander, Werewolf Biker, and Shadusa in this pack. Uh, well, actually, in this wave rather, uh, I got both of them here, uh, and I'll be opening opening these on camera. Um, in fact, um, well, I think that's a good enough intro, and I'll just go ahead and do this right now. So yeah, uh, basically, I, in these little packs, you get three in one, um, and yeah, uh, just kind of pry it open here. There we go. Ruin the resale value. Hooray! All right, so here we go. Let's get my light in closer here. Boop. There we go. There we go. Here's old Franken Ghost. Stuff out of the background. Now basically. Uh, Franken Ghost, he has a little backstory. This eerie poltergeist prisoner was shackled and drowned, and yet still lumbers forward in pursuit of revenge. Ooh. Yeah, really kind of a cool little character there. Uh, looking at his back there, he's shackled all the way around. It looks kind of drippy, you know. It looks like he just came out of the swamp, and, you know, he's dragging something behind him. He's shackled. Urgh, this is really kind of an action pose. I dig him. Uh, yeah, let's see what the other one are. All right, looks like we got uh, Captain Dead Star. The cosmic ghoul renegade sails the seven galaxies, pillaging planets and blasting ships to Davy Jones's space locker. Ooh, that's cool. And, uh, oh, I almost forgot. He uh, comes with a flaming sword over here. If I can get out of here. There we go. Stick that in to your hand. There we go. There we go. That's a that's a cool that's a cool guy. Basically, he's just a, a basically a guy with a, a skeleton face. Uh, so a skeleton pirate, a skeleton space pirate. Now what's not to love? Kind of plain on the back, and uh, but you know he's got some style going on. Next up, we got the Red Tiger. The brutal champion of carnage achieves victory at all costs, even if it means mauling and dismembering all of his opponents. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, so basically, he's a he's a luchador. He's a luchador with a a tighter face. I assume it's a tighter face, and not just a really really good mask. But uh, you never know. Uh, but yeah, oh, I almost forgot too. He comes with his very own special thing that he holds. If I can just keep it off camera just long enough. There we go. Stick in there. <laughs> he comes with a severed arm to to come numb on. Nom, 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 nom. No, 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 no. We're just stuck with thumb because he's a uh, he's a child at heart. There we go. Uh, but yeah, stick you over here, 
And uh, let's take a look at the other pack. Here we go. Uh, and on the very front here, we have Shidusa. Uh, all the artwork that I've been kind of showcasing thus far is, is from Ed Repka. Basically, he designed all the artwork for all these characters, and he did a really good job. Uh, they also made a, a trading card series uh, along with this, this uh, the worst series. I really need to get a better name for that. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. There's a lot of stuff in this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, first up we have, well, Shidusa. Uh, let's see. The savage shapeshifting serpent takes no prisoners and takes no attitude from anyone. Ooh, that's cool. And just basically, she's a, she's a snake woman. She's literally a snake woman. Kind of, well, technically a naga. Uh, but she also has a snake arm, so that's kind of an odd uh, combination. I'm not really sure if that's ever been done before. And she also has a little bow. Let's stick it in her uh, her non sneaky hand. Let's see. Get, get in there. Get in there. I, I like that all these guys come with their own uh, unique uh, weapons and things. Um, and also like the fact that she is taking the snake theme to a whole new level. Snake arm, snake body, <laughs> snake bow and arrow. And uh, in the artwork, these bows, uh, these arrows are snakes, and there's also a snake that goes around her head. So, snakes all around. Hooray! <clears throat> yeah, that's really a lot of fun. All right, here's my favorite guy. Let's see, where's his weapon? There it is. I'll stick it right there. Right? This guy uh, reminds me of Hector Concarne, but his name is the Tortex Commander. A ruthless mastermind of chaos, he always accomplishes his mission in a cold and calculating manner. Uh, he's a brain in a jar, basically, and uh, his jar is uh, needs a replacement. He needs a better uh, repair guy. Maybe that's that's who he's uh, about to shoot. I don't need to make up your own uh, your own decision there. I really dig him. He's uh, he's very cold and calculating, and he's also got a lot of metals going on there. And I like that his that his weapon, in fact all the other weapons and things, fit perfectly in the hands and just, it's really cool. Uh, so let me set you over there and we'll take a look at the last guy. And last but not least is the werewolf biker. Alright, this guy looks like he means business. Uh, Harry Hell on Wheels, this murderous motorcycle maniac becomes an evil menace when the moon is full. And he's also got a pool cue. That's kind of cool. Uh, he's a very hairy guy. He's he's very hairy. He's got uh, some mean claws going on there, and looks like he would give uh, Red uh, Red Tiger a uh, good licking. He's also got uh, a pool cue there. Oh, it's actually kind of it's not actually attached. Wow, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's see. He's uh, got the denim jacket and just ferocious face. I dig his teeth. Uh, yeah, so so basically these are the characters that I have for now. Uh, I may be doing another one of these uh, very shortly. Uh, but yeah, so basically these guys, uh, they're they're little figures that are uh, kind of kind of uh, pink in style, and they have a high detail. Honestly, to me, it's begging to be painted. So I may I may do that in the future. Um, uh, I'll find all the appropriate paints and uh, kind of give you guys a tutorial on how to how to spruce these guys up. But I mean. As they are now, as Super 7 gives them to us, they're in a good pack, good deal. I really like these guys a lot. I really wish they would do uh, another wave of these guys, uh, or maybe just make more characters and make a whole lot of, uh, just make a whole big uh, plethora of these guys, and I'd be happy to no end. Uh, make more figures, make more, make more doodads and things. I, I don't know. Uh, Super Seven, just go off the wear ale. Uh, don't don't be pigeonholed inside of nostalgia. You know, make your own nostalgia because you know I'm sure. God, if I were to run across this when I was a kid, uh, this would be this would be my this would be my childhood. This would be fun. Um, I, I would enjoy this immensely. Uh, um, so anyway, uh, I'll be doing more of these later on. Uh, and until then, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!